Allah created humans just so they worship him. But then we also find in the Quran that Allah created humans for hell. Allah decreed disbelief and so on. And so Allah gave you the heart or intellectual to accept the truth. And if you don't, and then you are expecting Allah to hug you and say, okay, come on, Ridwan, chalta here, no problem. No, you can't expect Allah to do that. If he created humans to worship him, then why did he create people who will not worship him? And why did he decree disbelief? For what Allah has decreed for me, and I challenge you what Allah has decreed for you, nobody, even the third party cannot say. It shouldn't even matter you to question Allah in the first he, place. Dr. Abdul, you're not answering my question. It is very clear, I believe, that Allah is the creator and uh, Allah created the jinn and ins to worship him. So what's your problem with this? It's clear. You tell me what, what you what was the problem with this. Let's understand what's the problem now. The problem with this is that this is not uh, solely on its own a problem. This is an, a problem together with the other verses connected. Because this verse says, Allah created humans just so they worship him. But then we also find in the Quran that Allah created humans for hell. Allah decreed disbelief and so on. So my question would be, if Allah created humans just so they worship him, then, you know, mindlessly, then why did he create humans flawed? Why did he design humans? Why did he decree disbelief for them? And why did he create many of them for hell? If it was, okay. if worship is his object, uh, is his, uh, his 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 mission, then why do all these things? It doesn't make sense. That's a contradiction in and of itself. Okay. The, the first question about this, first objection about this. Let's start with this. That were Allah created the people, jinn and ins, to worship Him. Okay. So what's your first objection? Why did He create them, and why is He going to punish them then? That's that's the thing. It is, if he created humans to worship him, then why did he create people who will not worship him? And why did he decree disbelief for them? Okay, is that the only question? Now, That's the first question of many. First yeah. question. Okay, now tell me, tell me, suppose if, if you are uh, registering or enrolling in the university and at the first gate you are told, now because you don't have Islamic background to understand, tell me that I understood this from the your sources so i'm telling you like for example if you go to a university and the principal or the head of the university says that look to enroll this in this university you have to maintain this criteria and one of the criteria is that you have to uh, attend the class you have to attend the lectures you have to attend all the courses and then you have to attempt the exam and if you don't then the consequences will be xyz is that wrong if you failed and you didn't mention that? Is that wrong? That doesn't answer the question because the problem here is there is a huge difference. I see the university. I go to the university willingly. I know the, the, the rules of the university. I know the principle and the tests that are given to me. I know what will happen if I fail the test and so on. When it comes to Islam... It is only a belief, only a claim. I don't see Allah. I don't know that Allah does indeed exist. I don't know if the test is exactly as it's told. I don't see the results of the test. So this is a completely false comparison. And on the other hand, and on the other hand, the university only prepares me for something that they have to do. Whereas Allah is almighty, all knowing. He wants to create humans just so they worship him. But then he goes ahead and creates people who will not worship him. No, 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 no. He didn't create the people. You bring me one verse in the Quran where uh, it says that he was just merely going to put some people in the hell. Now that's a challenge to you. Bring one verse from the Quran where the, the verse that you have quoted six verses doesn't say anything exactly what you're saying. Let's see. Okay. Now. This is my challenge to you. Okay, very easy. Uh, Quran chapter 7 verse 179, it says, And we have certainly created uh, for hell many of the jinn and the mankind. They have hearts with which they do not understand, they have eyes with which they do not see, and they have ears with which they do not hear. Those are like livestock, rather they are more astray. It is they who are the heedless. I repeat the very beginning, and we have certainly created for hell many of the jinn and the mankind. Why? Why? What do you mean why? <laughs> why? Why Allah created, why Allah is going to put them in the hell? You're missing the point in the verse. Tell me, tell me about it. Now Allah gave them the eyes to recognize the truth. And, and this is the same thing, the, the head, the university gave you the principle, you don't want to follow the principle and then you fail. 
So if you have failed, then you have failed. So Allah gave you the eyes to find the truth, see the truth. Allah gives you ears to hear the truth. And Allah gave you the heart or intellectual to accept the truth. And if you don't, and then you are expecting Allah to hug you and say, okay, come on, Ridwan, chalta hai, no problem. No, you can't expect Allah to do that. And why Allah is only choosing them and not those who are obeying Allah's command? Why? So Allah, wherever, the, any verse that you are quoting, people may be not listening to you or maybe not going back to your references when properly studying that. But everywhere, even the verse you quoted from Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, 6, 7, the, even that in Arabic, it says, Inna ladhina kafaru. Inna ladhina kafaru. This is a past tense. And people who disbelieved in Allah, so there's the consequences. The result will okay. come. So Allah okay. is nowhere. Allah is nowhere saying, I merely chose X for the Jannah. Whatever they do, I don't care. I chose, you know, these people, B for Jahannam. And I don't care. The word, but this is my choice. I created them. And I, I'm choosing them to go to Jannah. Jahannam. No. The going to Jannah and Jahannam is our choice. And that is what okay. I'm saying. Okay. People going to the university... Passing, failing, it's their choice, their way. They do you're, you're, you're missing the point. You're not responding to the question again. Uh, as said, the uh, university is a false comparison because I know about the university. I know about its laws. I know about the test. I know about the consequences. When it comes to uh, Islam and Allah, it is merely a belief. It is something that I'm supposed to believe in, supposed to be convinced by. I don't actually see uh, what is, what is expected from me and what the consequences of it are. Secondly, it is a false comparison because, uh, as said, the university is something that is necessary in an environment in order to take you somewhere. It is not an almighty uh, facility an almighty faculty that could just make you perfect and then present you to society. On the other hand, Allah is the one who originally creates you. He wants, he is almighty, all-knowing, and he creates people so they worship him. But then he goes ahead and he designs me, for example. He designs me exactly as I am, with my brain, with my eyes, with my capabilities, with everything, and my environment in such a way that I will be uh, eventually unable to believe in him and eventually make the mistake of not believing in him and go to hell. This is what he created. So he punishes me for his own creation and his own decree. My capabilities were he were created entirely by him because everything is cre his creation and my choices in life were entirely decreed by him because everything is his decree. Nothing that I do can logically be outside his design, outside his creation, outside his decree. So if Allah wants to create humans just so they worship him, then why doesn't he just create people so they, uh, who worship him okay. and instead creates people and designs them for disbelief and consequently for hell? Okay. Do you have a pen and paper, please? Sure, yeah. Okay. Chapter Hood. Chapter Hood. I'm giving you answers for all the questions and objections that you have asked about Allah. Chapter Hood, which is chapter 11 and verse 119. Okay. Okay. It says, Illa man rahima rabbuka wali dhalika khalaqahum wa tammat kalimatu rabbika la amla anna jahannama min al jinnati wa nasi ajma'een. The last part is yours. And the first part is supporting me. And this is very clear. Accept him on whom your Lord has bestowed his mercy. Accept. You see, Allah is saying that there are followers of shaitan and they followed him instead of following Allah. And this is, this is not, Allah is not saying what Allah has destined for you. Allah has already, and I'll bring all these evidences to answer your question. This ayah, it says that Allah created all the people to believe in him. He has not, you know, created them to disbelieve in him. And this verse says that, and what is the proof of that? Allah has created them so that they believe in him. The, your, your understanding is wrong from one verse. You are saying Allah created them for Jannah and Jahannam. No, Allah didn't create anybody for Jahannam. This verse is the answer to your uh, argument where Allah says, In illa man rahima rabbuk, except those people upon whom Allah shows his mercy. And I, okay. I pray to Allah that may Allah have mercy on you and James too. James, please, I'm very friendly, okay? <laughs> Don't mind for my compliments. Okay. Dr. Okay. Al-Tamari, did Allah, can I ask you some uh, very quick, brief questions? No, no, did let Allah... me finish this point. Oh, sure, Ray, go Ray, ahead. One, please, I'll give you enough time. I told even James that if you need more minutes, 
you can take my minutes. I'm that generous, you know, because big guy Thank with twenty two stones, I have got enough enough heart to take you. Thank because you. what you have done, I don't want to discuss that. But still, I say that I ignore that, and that is Thank you. it's all right, no problem. Wali dalika khalaqahum. Allah has created them for that purpose. That means Allah created them to worship Him and to bestow His mercy upon Him. Wa tamat kalima tu Rabbika. And also Allah has declared his declaration that there will be people who will be of this kind and there will be people of other kind. Then Allah confirms those people who were followers of Satan, definitely amongst those who will follow the Satan and go away from Allah's mercy, they will go into the Jahannam. Okay, this is one answer. Now I want you to reply to this if you can. Okay, sure. Uh, I want to ask you very quick questions, Dr. Abdul Majid. Uh, did Allah create everything, yes or not? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, did Allah design everything, yes or no? Yes. Did Allah decree everything before he created it, yes or no? Yes. And I so, can give you all the verses to prove that. Fantastic. So, uh, according to the Islamic belief and according to you, Allah created everything, Allah designed everything, and Allah decreed everything. One one final question is, is anything outside of Allah's creation and decree? No. Okay, so nothing is outside of Allah's creation and decree. But Allah wants us to believe in Him and He created us just to believe in Him. So let's get this straight. Allah creates everything that happens. Allah designs everything. Allah decrees everything. And nothing is designed, created, and decreed outside of what Allah has designed, created, and decreed. And yet, Allah creates uh, humans like me with capabilities, supposedly, and the responsibility to believe. But he creates my mind, my environment, my personality, and everything in such a way that I will eventually not be convinced by Islam, that I will disbelieve, and that I will, therefore, make the wrong choice of disbelief and go to hell. Now, the choice of disbelieving and going to hell, who decreed that? Did it, was it my decree or was it Allah's decree? Okay, okay, I'm coming. Uh, do you understand the difference between script and transcript? Yes, but I don't, we already established creation, design, and decree, and nothing is outside of that. So, yeah, but, but what is it? Is it transcript or a script that Allah, what has Allah has decreed? Bo both, both actually, yeah. Oh, how, how come? Can you answer? Can you ask? Answer, can you answer my question? When I, I will, choose, I will, I will when I choose disbelief, is that my that. decree or is it Allah's decree? This, okay. Is that my okay. creation or Allah's creation? Okay. Uh, do you have the same knowledge of Allah? Go ahead and explain it to me. I don't know. You no. So tell me. You 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 read the. Well, you know what Allah has described described for you or decreed for you. I mean, I know, know that it is. Huh? I know I I don't know what Allah has decreed for me. I know that according to Islam, Allah designs and creates and decrees everything that will happen before it happens. Okay, so let's and Allah let's, guides let's and agree, misguides whom He wills, and no one can believe on His place decree. Let's agree to certain points. Now you said that Allah has decreed everything. Allah has uh -huh. created everything. Allah has designed everything. And okay, and you going to the Jahannam? Now you are you are blaming that to Allah. Do you know that Allah has also told you? Allah has also told you that if you do this, then this is your end. And if you don't do this, then this is your end. Do you know? I never, that? I never said the Quran is consistent. I'm asking. <laughs> no, no, I'm no, no, asking no. I'm you. not saying about Quran. No, come on, stick to the point. We are talking about the decreed of Allah. Yeah. Okay. Allah has decreed everything. Do you know what Allah has decreed for you? I can't know what Allah has decreed for me because I don't believe Allah is real. So. Yeah, so that means now going, you are choosing, whatever you are choosing is your choice. Because you don't know what Allah has decreed or not. For me, if you ask me, if you ask me, do you believe in Allah? I'll say, yes, I believe in Allah. Do you believe in decree, the decree that Allah has made? A script or a transcript, which you are saying both are same, which I can say even James will correct you. It's not same. Transcript. No, I different. say within the context of Islam, it's the same. No, 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 no. Dr. Abdul Majid, you know, did, you, uh, did you choose, did you decree that you would believe in Islam or did Allah decree that you would believe in Islam? What? <laughs> did you decree that you would believe in Islam or did Allah decree that you would believe in Islam? I have a reason to believe in Allah. Okay, but did, but did you I decree this or did Allah decide this? 
Huh? I have a reason to follow Allah's guidance. Everyone. I understand that. I understand that. But did you decree and decide this or did Allah decree and decide this? I don't know what Allah has decreed for me, but Allah told me what to do. That's my okay. Uh, argument. Okay, I'm but... not blind. No, 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 no. I'm not blind having eyes. I'm not deaf having ears. And I'm not dumb having brain to understand. So my thinking is that Allah decreed something for me, but I don't know what. But okay, Allah, but eventually Allah decreed it, right? So the, the point is not uh, what will eventually happen. The point is whatever so happens, you jumping, did you, you decree it or did Allah decree it? Ridwan, you are jumping, you are going to the destination, yet you have not chosen the route. But that's what matters. Is it Allah's decree or is it your decree? What eventually happens? No, no. Why are you talking about Allah now? We had I said to you, I believe this is Allah's decree. But Allah, Allah is not saying, okay, I decreed, you know, Jahannam for Abdul Majid and Jahannam for Ridwan. Allah didn't say that. Okay, but I'm asking you, but I'm asking you, is this is decree a script? But I'm asking you, let's say hypothetically that you will end up with belief and you will die as a believer. Was it then your decision and decree to believe or was it Allah's decision and decree? Ridwan, I already answered you. What is the answer? I, I, I don't hear the answer. I already answered you. That whatever Allah has decreed, I have not a single doubt about it. But, but, what Allah has decreed for me, and I challenge you what Allah has decreed for you, nobody, even the third party cannot say. So you I, I understand say, that. I, I understand say. that, but you're not so, asking, you're so, not so, answering no, 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 my no. question. Let's stop here. Let's stop here. You, no, you're not answering my question. I want to ask you. I'm coming. If I'm hypothetically, coming. if hypothetically Sometimes you believe, is it your decree or is it Allah's decree? It is Allah's decree, yes. Okay, fine. So it is Allah's decree. So that means uh, Allah himself decided what will happen. Allah himself decided whether you will believe or will not believe. So it is Allah himself no, what, who has made what, that choice. What did Allah decide? No, what did Allah decide? How can you say Allah decided believe or not believe? I'm not saying he not decided. I'm saying I'm, I'm, I'm presenting a hypothetical. If we are talking about somebody who ends up believing, then according to the Islamic narrative, according to the Islamic belief, logically, it has to be that Allah decreed that this person would believe or Allah decided that this person would believe. If the person has any choice in that, if you decide or decree something, then that means that is outside of Allah's de decree. That makes no sense. That is incompatible with the Islamic belief. Should we base our argument on hypothetical? understanding or yes do we base our yes based on the word evidence no we should base it we should base it on the hypothetical that's how we are supposed to argue about this if if hypothetically somebody believes and dies with this with with belief then we have to uh discuss this in order to understand the logic whether okay. the belief was the person's decree or whether it was allah's decree i okay. think we no, already no, no. have wait, the wait, answer wait, it was wait, allah's wait, decree wait, wait, which you, supports you my are, point you are confusing people maybe i think because you you my yourself has got this uh, wrong understanding. You are saying that if I disbelieve or if I believe is Allah has decided for me. What is the proof for that? Give me the evidence. That's what I'm asking you. <laughs> I already asked you if everything is Allah's what? creation, design and... and okay, I, let, 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 I ask let, you, what do you know? Let, let, Allah, let, decided let, let me ask this. Let me ask this. If I choose... Okay, let's forget about that. How about this? I chose to disbelieve in Allah, right? I chose to disbelieve in Allah. Was that my decree? Was that outside of Allah's decree? It's your choice, and Allah will okay. not do wrong to you. Rizwan, okay, but was that Allah, was that outside Allah, of Allah's decree? Was it my decree alone? Ridwan, if Allah wants to punish me now, Allah can punish me. If Allah wants to send mercy to me, He can do that. For I, you, for see you, the, no, no, listen, listen. Rizwan. That's my point, but you're not answering yeah. my question. That's the issue. Was I'm it my decree question. or not? Yeah. So wh why you chose that? Why you chose to be of that? It doesn't why matter why I chose it. Choice? It doesn't matter why I chose it. I'm asking you, was it my why decree? It no, no, because why it doesn't matter? If it doesn't matter you for what you're choosing, then you shouldn't, doesn't matter. It shouldn't even matter you to question Allah in the first it, place. Dr. Abdul, you're not answering my question. I'm uh, answering your question. I'm saying what, that. Was it, was it my decree? Was it my no, no, decree no, no. to disbelief outside of Allah's decree? Was it my no, decree? No, it's, not. it's not. So, okay, it is Allah's decree. So everything is Allah's decree. That means even if I have a final choice to disbelieve and go to hell, then that was decided by Allah beforehand. It wasn't decided why, why by me. Because choice? if I, it doesn't matter are why. You, it, are you it doesn't matter. to choose your final choice? 
No, it doesn't matter why. That's not the point, Dr. Dr. Abdul Majid. No, 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 no. no matter what it is, are, even if it's out of ignorance, if I eventually no, 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 choose no, no, disbelief, you, you then that means no, no, that no, was no, decided no, by no, Allah Himself at the very beginning so, before on, I made I the choice. Gentlemen, just because okay. it's getting James, heated, James, please, and I know ahead. that you guys are both passionate, and that's what we appreciate because there's nothing worse than two debaters that lack passion, but you guys definitely have an abundance of passion. I just want to be sure that we get to hear from each of you.